it's been over one week since I started to take a two hours bike ride on average every day. When I say every day, I count two days of rest per week. So far, it's been amazing. The first two or three days, I felt so out of shape and it was so difficult. Every cyclist was passing me on the bike lanes. I was always the slow one. Now, already after one week, I feel like I am back in a very decent shape. But today I'm facing a big problem. I just got my period. <gasps> Mom, please don't let yourself have a heart attack now. Yes, I'm talking about my period publicly because I think that it's about time that we break this taboo. Half of the population on this planet is female and every female between 14 and 50 has their period every single month and it's an issue. So it's time that we start to talk about it openly. So how does this affect me? Let's say that yesterday my mood, my energy levels were very low. So in the end, in the evening, I wasn't able to do my bike ride. So I stayed home and relaxed, which solved the issues for me for yesterday. But today is my first day of period, which means that my energy level is not that high yet. And I'm going to have to face cramps and pain all over my body, which diminishes if I just lay down on a surface and don't move at all. But you know what? Today I want to go out. I was laying down on the couch trying to do some very easy work on my computer this morning and I thought, you know what? It's such a nice day outside. The weather is nice. And today I really want to take a serious bike ride. So this is the challenge for today. I'm gonna go back to George Washington Bridge, which is the bridge where I went the very first bike ride that I did, which is the one that you saw in the vlog. And instead of stopping there, I'm gonna go over it because there are further bike lanes in that direction, which is direction Bronx. So come with me. That's my worst nightmare, falling from the bicycle, far from home. As soon as I saw the girl, I stopped and helped her. I'm sure I will find someone that would do the same thing for me in case of need. Let's go. Today, I, 
I don't feel tired yet. So that's the power of training. Five minutes later. What did I just say? What did I just say? 100 meters later. I oh oh I had to stop. It was oh god too steep, too steep. But I made it on the bicycle up to the top. This is the first time I drink. My bottle is halved. No way. Oh, another uphill. I hope it's as short as it looks. Okay, very short and very narrow as well. All right, with this one I have no problems, even after the other one. Ooh, sorry. I must say my legs, but especially my gluteus, they got destroyed after the other steep uphill. It was literally maybe 30 meters only. Wow. That's a gorgeous view of the bridge. Downstairs. Sorry? I'm saying how do I go downstairs? Uh, here a bit on the left there is a bridge. Oh, it's good you will see it. So Jesus, what is this? I don't wanna make this too much for me. Oh god, I think I can turn left at the next the next left. Like turn. How do I say? Yeah, I can turn left at the next left turn. Oh god, no. Come on! Just want to say something to the future Mary Jane you are fucking crazy next time team twice before doing something so stupid. While editing, I'm realizing that probably men don't understand what is happening here. For you to give you an idea, just imagine that one day you wake up with 38 degrees of fever and you go take a bike ride like this one. Whoa, look at this machine. For Tyron Park. For Tryon, 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 Cloisters Museum. Yes, somebody in the Lux blog mentioned me the Cloisters Museum, which is unfortunately now it's, it's closed because of the COVID. Oh wow, this is a huge party. Give me some shade, some shade, yeah. What is this, Europe? What? Should I leave the bicycle here for a moment? I actually 
have to admit that I've known about this place before because in last my last vlog some of you guys sent me the link of this place so I already had a quick sneak peek on the internet but unfortunately it closed due to coronavirus at the moment of course what I got for last. My problem right now is that I'm finishing the water. I didn't have extra water. I had like the right amount and half of that amount went for the girl who fell from the bike to clean her wound. So now it's a bit of a problem. I have peanuts today and then a piece of baguette. Uh, inside I put a little bit of camembert, obviously an apple and carrots, which is what I'm gonna start with so thirsty but well, I don't want to finish the water but I still need to go back, you know? stopped eating peanuts because I was scared that he would attack me. Look at it. No, go away. I'm scared of you. Come on. I'm not good with animals. I put them away in plastic. Go away. Come on. Go away. Leave me alone. I'm gonna leave a peanut to the squirrel. just started my way back not gonna lie I feel pretty tired I believe though that the way back is gonna be less uphill especially this very last part from after the George Washington Bridge is the one that killed me oh my god look how many people He's over there. incredible it's not even weekend it's Friday today well, I must say also on the street so many cyclists if it's going to continue like this I'm gonna have to start coming for bike rides when it's cloudy out it's not good weather or maybe very early in the morning stuff like that because I I don't enjoy biking if there it's so crowded so this neighborhood which I don't know how it's called it's all up and down like from the park till here it's not even 10 minutes I've already done downhill uphill downhill uphill downhill uphill look at this now again downhill it's pretty steep as well but especially I want to show you the part that killed my legs earlier right after the bridge There you go, Hudson River. Black Lives Matter sign. This is the spot where I sat earlier to drink some water because I was about to die. Now look at this. I don't know how if you can understand the steepness of this. I'm even scared to go downhill here. That like that curve. I was stupid. I sh I should have dismounted the bicycle to be honest. This is steep but I made it with no problems. Even if you see, 
this brings me satisfaction that you see people <laughs> that carry their bikes different paths, I went to different parts of the city, I did different things and especially I was wearing different clothes. for another half an hour and then I'm gonna go home. in the evening but I wanted to give you a last message before closing this vlog I wanted to challenge myself today to prove myself that even when I am the weakest which is every month I can still do something with my life women's hormonal cycle is still a huge taboo in our society I have no idea why but I would like in the course of my life to see this taboo falling as much as so many other taboos has fallen in the past 50 years in our society. Most of women in their adult age struggle every month, once per month for a few days. And they are not allowed to talk about it. They are not even allowed to say publicly that they are going through their weekdays you know and I think it's just so weird honestly I have 
I've never had any problem saying that I am going through my period when I am. I think that people around me should know that I might not as much in a, in a good mood or I might be weaker or my physical condition is not my the usual one. So I encourage all the women that are watching this vlog to start talking about your period with other people. Start with your girlfriends, start with other women that you don't know very well and then go on with men because men need to know what we are going through, please. I am happy that in this channel there are a lot of men watching. My audience, my audience is split 50 and 50 usually, so I'm glad that I was able to speak also to all men who have no idea what women go through. Today I proved myself that I can do something that I thought it was able to do for me only in a normal day, but I did it with a lot more struggle than I would have done in another day. And I deserve recognition for that. This said, I'm gonna go home now, take a shower and have some dinner. See you in my next vlog. Bye.